you're a podcast host. It, you, it is not going to come to any surprise to you. I hope that you are way too busy to be the one who does all of the production and the promotion. You shouldn't be doing that. And if you're too busy for it now, just imagine how busy you're going to be when all this works. I mean, you're going to be putting all this content out. You're building authority. People are getting to see you. They're finding you. People are finding you that have never found you before. And as that happens and you're monetizing and you're bringing in new leads and you're converting them into clients, you're going to be busier than you've ever been before. Being good at delegating is super important. And if you can delegate your podcast tasks early on, you will not regret it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we delegate our process so that maybe it can help you as you are determining how to proceed when it comes to getting all these tasks done. Whether or not you use our system, I'm going to assume that you have some kind of processes in place because you are going to need it. So let's just say that that is step one. Put what you need done into processes. You're going to need checklists, when they need to happen, who's going to be doing them. You want to have templates in place for your quote graphics, for your uh, you know, tall social media frames, for your square social media frames. You're going to want episode art that can be edited so that every time a podcast is recorded and pushed out, consistent quality content is created without your instruction. So get all those assets in place. The setup is really where all the time and effort goes into. So once you have that in place, who does what? Well, you're the host, so you interview your guests and that recording in another one of our one of my videos, you'll find that, um, and I'll just tell you again, is that if you record on, on Zoom, you can have your episodes automatically sent to Dropbox into a specific folder, and then your team can work on that file from there. So who does all that? Well, I always recommend having a right-hand person. So an, an executive assistant or a VA that helps you, who is the liaison between you and your team so that they can be answering questions and things that have to be, that you have to be the one to answer. They can discern those things. But from there, as soon as that recording is in place, we have what we call a certified virtual production assistant. And they are trained on our 41 plus pieces workflow, which creates over 41 pieces of content out of a single recording. So whatever you call your process, uh, or if you need, you know, if you could get some value out of ours, let us know. But whatever your process is, you want a person trained to understand how to pull the content. So it's, it's a tough position to put together a job description for. It's possible, but you really have to go through some people who, you know, like, I mean, I've done this for years and I can tell you, it's just a tough one to really get a good match. Now, we've got a process that not only guides them through the 41 plus pieces, but I also train people. We call them CVPAs, and they run the whole system. So they're pulling out the quotes. They're taking down the information that I find important during the interview. They are the ones who grab the 30 to 60 second video clips to send to the video editor. They grab the long form video to send to the video, video editor for YouTube. They grab the seven to nine minute video clip to send to the video editor to create for LinkedIn, Facebook, and IGTV. So they've got their list. They're the ones pulling the content, sending the requests off to the graphic designers, the video editors, and to the writers because we need you know, writing done for the social media. We need writing done for the, for the um, show notes and for if we want blog posts or if we want press releases. They're the one just driving that bus. They're making sure everything gets out. As it's coming in, they check the quality and they put it in the right spot because the next team is the distribution team and they everything needs to be put together of the highest quality, ready to go and in a central place for the distribution team. So that's the CVPA, very important person. Uh, we typically pay our CVPAs $200 to $250 an episode. Um, we try to base it on an average of about $20 an hour. Uh, we just value that position. We actually value all the positions a lot, but that's just a really unique position on the team. From there, as you just heard, we need graphic designer. We need a video editor and we need writers. Now, we hire level nine virtual, and this could literally be any team where they have specialists in certain areas. Because we use templates, regardless of who 
makes the edits, uh, we've got a specific process written down and we send it to them. We want it to be someone who knows how to edit video, but they don't have to be all creative and like make all these templates. They just have to edit it based on our instructions. So we use level nine, a level nine virtual pod. So they have specialists who specialize in graphic design, in video editing, WordPress, high level, um, and a lot of other areas. They can do email campaigns, um, and they also help with the distribution. Now, when it as soon as all that's done, those are the people that you need on that team. Then when it goes, and then you need a writer as well. And the writer does the social media writing. Also, they also do the metadata in addition to the show notes and the blog posts like I talked about. After the production comes the promotion. And for the promotion team, you need the distribution team. Now, your I suggest that your right-hand person is the one who distributes the distribution requests. So in our system, we've got process, we've got a process where at the end of the production, the the um, CVPA sends out an email to the distribution person and they get a checklist. And that checklist is like, okay, copy and paste this and send it to the email campaign manager. Send this to the social media manager to schedule all these posts. They've got all the dates. They've got all the images and the videos and the text. Go post it. Send this to the web developer so that they can add, this is the written blog post. So everything is spelled out and works like clockwork. So basically all this stuff sounded like a lot, but it really only takes, you know, 15 to 20 minutes to um, send all the distribution out. Then you're the distribution team sends all the information out and the content is dripped out. And there you go. That's our team. That's what we do. You're the host. So you are responsible for, uh, you know, secure, yeah, answering any questions to the guests. They're getting, you You know, for us, we have a campaign system that I'll tell you about in another video, but it's called our white glove strategic guesting. So it really sets the stage so that your interaction with the guest is an answering questions, doing the interview doing the follow-up and closing deals. So I hope this helps. Happy podcasting.